Hi gang, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can organize your org's next email marketing campaign using features available in the free version of Asana. In this doc, we have a rough email marketing plan for the rest of the year. You can see there are four planned emails, including our Giving Tuesday Ask and end of year appeal emails. Underneath that, we have notes on the criteria for our email list and the list of tasks that need to happen before each email can actually be scheduled. This Google Doc isn't a bad system and it's pretty well organized, but Asana will let us create tasks for each individual email and assign those tasks both a date and a person. So from a collaboration standpoint and an overall project management standpoint, it just makes everything a lot easier. Let's open Asana. So my Asana is open. Now, if you've never used Asana before, all you need to know is that you create tasks that live within projects that live within teams. So teams live on the left down here. For my one person email ops team, I'll start by creating a new project for this email plan. So I'll hit the plus sign. I'll choose a blank project. We'll give it a name. You can see this project will live in the email ops team, which is what we want. And then I'll choose the default view. I'm going to choose list view because for me, that's the easiest for project planning, but we'll definitely look at all of the views once we save. So I'll hit create project. And now we have our blank Asana project. So first I'll start by adding a section just to keep all of our tasks organized. Okay, so the first set of tasks that I want to throw into this Asana project are all of the send dates for all of my different emails. So to make things easy, I'll just copy and paste this directly from the doc into Asana. And Asana is pretty smart. It knew to make each email its own task within this section just by pasting. So now I'll go back and based on these email dates, I'll add these dates to all of the due date fields here. So now that all of my dates are here, I don't need them in my task names. So I'll just quickly delete them. Okay, so now our email marketing calendar is effectively in Asana. Now going back to our email plan, remember that each one of these emails has a set of tasks that needs to be accomplished before an email can be scheduled. And for each task, there are rough deadlines as well as departments who are responsible for those tasks. So now I want to start entering all that information into Asana for each individual email. Now to make this part of the process a little easier, I've put my Google Doc plan and my Asana project side by side so that I can start entering all of the tasks that need to go in. Let me zoom out a bit on the Google Doc just so we can see a little more. Okay. So now I'll start to enter all of these required subtasks for my first Giving Tuesday Blast email. So I'll open the task in Asana here and I'll enter the first task. Okay, so before I keep going, let me just show you what's happened. So now that we've added the subtask to this task card here, you can see it on the list view for the entire project as a collapsible subtask. So now it'll be a lot easier to just enter the rest as individual line items. Okay, all of our subtasks for the Giving Tuesday email have been entered into Asana. Now what we'll do is just quickly assign dates to all of these tasks based on the notes that I have in our Google Doc email plan. So draft email copy and send to program team needs to be done two weeks before the email send date. So I will just go into Asana, look two weeks from December 1st, and assign my deadlines. So now I'll continue doing this for the rest of the subtask. And I'll just remove myself from all of these tasks for the sake of the video. 
Now, if you remember from earlier in the video, I am a one person email ops team in Asana. If my team members were also using Asana, I could technically assign any individual person to each of these tasks. But even if you're using Asana and the rest of your staff isn't, you can still note which teams are responsible for each item with the use of Asana tags. This is something I do in my work Asana all the time to keep track of items that I'm waiting on from other departments. So I'll tag the teams responsible for each task. To do this, first I need to make sure I can see the tags column in this view. So I'll turn the tags on here. And now for each task, I'll go in and assign a tag for that team. So for the first task and the third task, I can see that these belong to the development team. So I'll go back to my Asana. I'll click the first and the third subtasks. By the way, to click multiple tasks at once, you just hold down the Alt key as you click. And then I will edit the tags here and I will tag the development team. And these are tags I had already pre-made Anytime you make a tag, you basically give it a label and a color. And the colors are great for helping things to really jump out. So now I'll just go back and forth and continue tagging the rest. And there you can see all of my subtasks have been added for the Giving Tuesday email. They all have due dates and they're all tagged with the team responsible for delivering each item. Now the final thing I'll just do because this data item right here, pull list of previous donors. Since I'm really a database admin, this would probably be my job. So I'll just assign myself to this task. The final piece, going back to our Google Doc plan, is this note about the list criteria. All previous donors, and if someone gives as a result of any email, they should get a thank you and be removed from the program. So what I'll do is just copy this list criteria from here. And then for the list task in my Asana plan, I'll just add the note to the description. Okay, and now the Giving Tuesday email plan is completely ready. Let's go through and do the rest of the emails. Now we can do this all over from scratch if you wanna get more practice with entering subtasks and tagging, but there's an easy way to duplicate this by copying and pasting the subtasks. So what I'll do is I'll select all of the subtasks under the Giving Tuesday last email and I'll click my first task hold the shift key and then click the last task to select all of them. I'm using a keyboard shortcut to copy. So if you're on Windows, that's control C. And if you're on Mac, that is the Mac symbol thing C. And then I'll open my next email, the end of your appeal one. I'll click into the subtask section and I'll paste. And I'll do the same for end of year appeal two and end of year appeal three. Okay, so all of my emails now have these subtasks. Now I'll go through and tag all of the teams responsible, again, by selecting multiple subtasks at a time and then applying the tags. So let's start with all of the development tasks. All of my program tasks. All of my data tasks. which I'll also assign myself to and remove myself from the tasks where I don't belong. 
and finally, all of the remaining marketing tasks. Okay, all of my subtasks for each email have been assigned to, the, or have been tagged, excuse me, with the correct team. And now the only remaining piece is adding all of the due dates for each individual email send. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, and for our final product, we have every single email in our email calendar, along with all of the different subtasks required for those emails to actually get built and sent. Every subtask has a due date, is tagged with the team that's responsible, and for the tasks that I can handle, I'm assigned as the, as the assignee, excuse me. Um, okay, so we've been working with the list view, but I wanna show you what the other views look like really quickly. So this is the board view, similar to Trello, and all of the lists up here, basically, are based on the section names here, like email calendar. And for the calendar view, which is the one we really care about, if I scroll down to December, you'll see all of my different Giving Tuesday and appeal emails down here. As great as this plan is, there's one big problem for me. I want to see the subtasks on the calendar too. Also, when I land on my beloved list view, I want to easily see if I have subtasks assigned to me without needing to expand all the email tasks. This is a subtask limitation with Asana, but we've got a workaround. We'll take each subtask and add it back to this same project. Let's say I want to separate out my subtasks into categories based on what we need done on the list, email copy, and email building fronts. I'll start by adding in those sections now. Okay, now for each email, I want to put all the list building tasks by the data team, aka me, together. So let's open the first list task that's here. On the task card on the top right, I'll click these little dots for more actions and then click add to projects. Now I'll choose the current project. Here, I'll choose the section of my project where I want the task to appear. And there it is. You can see that the task has been added over here. And if we look on the actual project, it's down here as well. Now, the great thing is that we didn't have to make a duplicate task in the same project just to get this item to appear in two places. They're linked, which you can see here because this parent task is the Giving Tuesday email blast and you'll also be able to see it if I mark the task as complete. The reason why this works is because when you create a subtask in Asana, it doesn't actually tie the task to any project. It only ties the task to its parent task. This feature is my saving grace with Asana. I am constantly creating subtasks and then adding them back to projects just to make sure that they're visible and grouped properly. So now I'll go ahead and do that for the other list tasks all at once. I'll choose all of the list tasks by holding the Alt key and clicking on each one. And then down here, I'll click this little edit project or section button. I will add it to the current project and I'll put it in the list section. And you can see all of the list tasks for the entire email plan are now visible in the list task category. So now I'll go ahead and do this for the rest of the tasks. And now this is what I call an Asana email marketing plan. So let's just look at the different views one more time. So now the board view is way more fleshed out because of all of the different sections that we have. Let's go back to the calendar, which is the other star of the show. 
So now that we get closer into November and December, I can see all of the actual email tasks as well as all of the subtasks and when they're due. So if anyone prefers to work from the calendar view because they like to see what's coming up for them in the coming days or weeks, they're able to easily do that now. And just going back to my list view one final time, now that all of our subtasks are also graduated to being normal tasks, I'm able to do a lot more in terms of filtering and sorting. So I'll start by filtering for just my tasks. And then if I want to sort, I can sort by due date within sections. So anything that was out of order before is now sorted from what's due soonest to what's due latest. And I can also sort without the sections. So it'll show me all of the tasks in a single list based on the due date. So this just goes to show how flexible Asana is because anyone can sort, filter, or view their project tasks in whatever way works best for them. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have questions or tips or other ideas, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for even more techie, database, nonprofit tips.